Arundel House of Hope is a nonprofit organization that serves the homeless. We, we have um, a transitional, permanent, and emergency housing programs, as well as support services that serve the homeless and the poor in the community. Uh, volunteers are basically the lifeblood of our organization, um, especially for our winter relief program, which is almost entirely a volunteer program. We have 75 churches that participate in this program. I participate in the winter relief program at my church. The guests come and spend the night at the church. And for seven straight nights, I get there before 10 o'clock. I put them to bed, turn the lights out. If they need their prescriptions, I'm there to distribute them for them. I got involved with the Arundel House of Hope because the people it affects are in my community. A lot of people that have worked in uh, the company that I worked for lost their jobs. I was one of them. The House of Hope has done a lot for me. This is where I work at now. I'm an intern here right now. So I'm the uh, program coordinator. So since they helped me, I want to give back to them. And volunteers like Gene are, are really key. Um, Gene's really specific because he, he enjoys doing the overnights program for, our, for Winter Relief, which is sometimes a very difficult position to fill. And then the idea that Gene gives up his vacation hours to volunteer with us is really a, a, says a lot about what type of person he is. I find it's a good use of my vacation time to help these people. And with the co-workers I have, they support me by switching schedules and giving up their off days so I can participate. I just get to make new friends. I feel shocked, I feel honored to be able to give this check to the Rundle House, I hope. Um, the grant that we receive for this is gonna to go to our new family program that's gonna offer services to homeless families. I'd like to thank the leadership of Exelon, a company I've worked for for 36 years now, for this program and for their donation to all the charities that they donate to. I'd like to thank my supervision for letting me do this and all my shift co-workers that cover my vacation and give up their off days so I can do this. Here with Animal Allies Rescue Foundation, also known as ARF. We are a nonprofit animal rescue in Baltimore, and we take dogs from local shelters or owner surrenders and we find them forever homes. We started ARF about three years ago to support the animals in Baltimore who are in need the abused animals, abandoned animals, and neglected animals. We take the cats and dogs and we rehab them and we get them into good forever homes. There, there are two things that I, that I absolutely love doing. I love fostering, so I love bringing um, a dog like Dakota into my home and to see the changes in dogs, to see them change is just, it's amazing and it's wonderful and I, I love that part of it. And I have such joy out of adopting my dog and so I love to see um, other people just really happy when they've, they've adopted a dog. When that works out and everyone's happy, it's just really wonderful to see. It is such a joy working with Betsy. She is one of those go-to folks who will just handle any situation. If anything is needed, Betsy's there at the ready. We're a small organization. We rely heavily on donations, um, our adoption fees to really run our organization. Um, a grant like this to ARF means everything. This really is gonna allow us to help some, some animals that we previously wouldn't have been able to help. Um, and really just, just get us to save a lot of lives. It's hard to describe how much this grant means to ARF. As you can imagine, the vet bills are very high. This money will help heal them. I have to say thank you, and I wish I knew more languages because I would say thank you in every single language. But from the cats and the dogs, thank Meow and thank Bark. We so appreciate it. I just want to thank Exelon for this grant. Um, without this, we wouldn't be able to do what we do and we wouldn't be able to save a, a lot of lives that we're going to save with the, with the money. So we're very, very appreciative and very grateful for the grant.
I got involved in Reading Partners about two years ago. There was a United Way Dr. Seuss Reading Day at Callaway, and I came and spoke and read it to the kids here. And I really enjoy reading and thought it would be great to give back and get involved in the program. So I went online and found out more information about it and joined. Reading Partners uh, mobilizes the community to give back to city schools by engaging the community as one-on-one -on -one volunteers working with students who are reading below grade level in kindergarten through fifth grade. So in a reading partner session, you show up and the first 15 minutes with the student, they pick out a book and you read to them. And then there's a curriculum plan based on their reading level and they will learn either a new skill or they might learn new words or phrases. And then at the last 15 or 10 or 15 minutes of the session, they read to you to practice the skills that they've learned. So my student this year is Kendall, she's a second grader, she's eight years old. She's very outgoing and just full of energy. Most of the time in the first part of the session she picks a, a book that's related to animals. So she really loves reading if you can find her a book with animals. I like reading partners because I like to read like Miss April. All of our volunteers are not only reading to kids, they're building powerful relationships with those students. And for our students, that time, that one-on-one -on -one time, is for many of them the only time that they have where they're sitting with an adult that's giving their full attention to them. And they get to go back and feel like someone cares about them. We laugh a lot and we talk a lot. I think her favorite color is pink. Blue. Uh, we are thrilled to be receiving this grant. I can't thank you enough. We are going to be expanding to 14 schools and through those 14 schools we're going to be looking to serve almost 800 students. So it, it takes a lot of resources to come together to make this program happen. So we're just grateful for this money. And with Reading Partners you really do see a difference. From starting with the same student at the beginning of the year, you can see them progress and their confidence in reading grow, and it's just a great feeling, and I'm very proud of them. Miss April, I want to thank you because you helped me read better. Senior Legal Services is a joint program of the Bar Association for Baltimore City and the Baltimore Bar Foundation. And what we do is provide legal services to low-income Baltimore City senior citizens. Exelon got involved with Senior Legal Services really right after the Exelon Constellation merger. I went out and, and tried to find an organization that was serving in the community so we could get our lawyers and, and support staff and paralegals out from behind their desks into the, the community and provide you know, high impact services. And I was just so lucky to, uh, to find Senior Legal Services. So Paul Ackerman is just amazing. He uh, came to our offices so eager to do work with seniors and to get out into the community and really make a difference. He's very good with the clients. They all love him. He has you know, just so much enthusiasm, and he was also able to bring in McGuire Woods into the mix and get them involved in our quarterly estate planning clinics. It was great to hear that Paul Ackerman and the uh, Senior Legal Services got the award. I think it's a testament to, the, uh, to Paul's passion you know, for this project, and it's great to see that his efforts have been rewarded. Yeah, we had about 50 individuals from Exelon who assisted with the various events we had last year. I've got to say that we are, we are thrilled uh, to be partnering with Exelon in the Senior Legal Services Clinic. Uh, there's a tremendous need out there uh, for these kinds of services in the local Baltimore communities in which it operates. And so I have to say thank you to, uh, to Paul for, for pulling us in. Due to this program, we nearly doubled our pro bono participation rate in our Baltimore office. One of the easy uh reasons we're able to recruit folks is is the experience that you you get when you meet with these clients one-on-one -on -one. individuals are are facing end-of-life decisions with a lot of uncertainty 
Um, and over the course of that an hour and a half, you're able to establish a relationship and at the end of that, bring them peace of mind. They are putting out more than the average lawyer would put out. And uh, I understand volunteer is really the heart. It's the heart of God. With this grant from Exelon, which we are so grateful to receive, we will be able to continue to provide services out in the community. We will be able to continue to provide home visits to homebound seniors to provide direct legal services and representation to them. Being able to connect on a personal level with these families and also know that we're having an impact with the community is just, you know, it's a wonderful experience every time we go out. So one night I was looking on Facebook, saw a post from one of my friends who's a pastor in North Carolina saying, hey guys, we need some people to go over to Africa. So I ended up uh, joining on his team and uh, this past summer went to Africa, uh, specifically Uganda, to assist with the construction of a baby's home. Yeah, about a year ago, Calvin came to us and just made us aware of an opportunity he had. So when we saw the need, saw the opportunity, we sent him as our emissary, our ambassador to go. Right away we got taken to the baby's home where they were originally staying to uh, see the, the rental home that they were in and really got to participate in seeing almost the completion of the new baby's home that they're in, which is 1,500 square feet to 5,000 square feet. Calvin has really set the example for me personally and for our church and, and just exemplifying what it means to be a giver. To come up and say, hey guys, we can help out people around the world and have a, a vision beyond just ourselves. Uh, I think not long after our, our biological son was born, we had kind of looked at each other and had said, hey, would you, would you ever consider adopting? You're like, yeah, we should, maybe we should think about doing that. And being the kind of folks we are, we, you know, we looked around at many different programs. Uh, and we really just kind of kept coming back to, to Uganda because of some of these experiences. It's awesome. I finally have somebody to play with who won't beat me super badly. I don't get him when I try to. He's in kindergarten and he's already at, at an end of, end of kindergarten or academic level. He's, you probably wouldn't know necessarily that he was only in the United States for a year. It really embodies that, that we all are one community globally. Well, I feel extremely blessed just to have been exposed to, to what it is they're doing. The construction debt was $15,000. I, mean, you know, I go to a small old church that's very faithful, but $15,000 is a lot. And then lo and behold, my manager calls me up and says, hey, Exelon's giving $10,000. And that's all because of Nightlight. If it wasn't for them, Exelon, myself and my family, Truth Bible Church, would have missed the opportunity to be able to serve the home over there. And I had the notion of, hey, I'm going to go over and help and do all this construction stuff for them. But really, it was such a little effort on my part compared to how much they gave me in my heart. Aberdeen Fire Department has been involved in my life for the past 10 years. Uh, I was in a very serious car accident about 10 years ago and they came to my help and at that time I realized how important the volunteer fire service was in Hartford County and it was just something I needed to do. I think volunteer work is very important to have in a community, from the littlest things to cleaning the trash up to having a community garden to running a fire department. So it makes you appreciate things a lot more in your community. My favorite part of working with Aberdeen Fire Department is being able to help people I don't normally help on a normal basis. Um, whether it's from Grandma Mabel burned a uh, pot roast on the table to someone trapped in a car on, on 95. Uh, Nick's skills with the fire department truly is being able to reach out to the younger uh, generation. Uh, he, he works real well with them. Uh, he likes training with them. They like training with him and he brings a lot to us. Uh, Nick truly is a uh, leader and a mentor to a lot of our younger members. Everybody's going to have a radio. I've seen Nick grow um, with being involved with the fire department and with his employment with bg &A. One seems to complement the other as far as him becoming who he is, as far as stepping up, doing the right thing, 
and just generally helping out all others. The friends and the people I work with here are my second family. You know, I devote a lot of time at work. If I'm not there, I'm here, you know, helping young guys train, you know, doing trainings ourselves, grinding on fire calls. Uh, we'd like to thank Exelon uh, for this grant. Uh, as a company, we hear great things from Exelon. So we're looking to use this grant to outfit a brand new fire truck and get the best bang for our buck and what we can equipment wise. You know, I'd like to say thank you to Exelon. It's going to be put to good use. We're very thankful that Exelon was awarded us this award. I didn't do it for me, I did it for my department. Everybody's won this award and everyone's going to benefit from it. Thank you very much.